Welcome back to Twying Game, where today we are going to play Black Desert Mobile again! This game has so much information that we are going on part 3. I just want to make sure that I can share as much information about this game as possible, so I'm glad that you guys are sticking with me and learning more new information about the game. Now in the contents down below, there will be information on exactly what part 3 is about. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so that you guys get all the information up front on Mondays and Fridays at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Now I did show you a little bit about pets, so, but let's just talk a little bit more. So my pet is just at a level one tier, but I can actually get him at a higher tier if I had another pet of the same kind. He'll be a puppy forever. <laughs> so if you click the paw button, it goes into all your information about your pet. So there's the pet info, how full your pet is. This will give you information about it. Now, when I wanted to get, uh, I originally wanted to get a cat because I didn't click on one. It automatically gave me the dog, which is perfectly fine. He's so super adorable, cute anyways. So when you do do training, it actually does take time to train is also it costs you money. It also, you need the knowledge books. I don't have a knowledge book right now to show you, but uh, if I did, I would uh, just press the training thing, take uh, 12 hours and 15 minutes, and it would cost me 24,500 silver, which I find is probably a little steep, but it's worth it. He's so adorable. An interesting thing here is uh, you can send your pet home or take your pet out in the bottom right-hand corner, and that would be so that your pet would follow you, but I don't think it follows you out here. Let's just go out into the battle screen so I can just show you what I mean. So I'm out here as you can see my puppy's following me. And once I, I kill a monster, he'll collect all the little bounties for me. Sometimes the monster drop these little rare chests. Don't forget to uh, open them up by yourself. Your dog will not open that for you. So if you're doing uh, like farming, just so that you can get level ups and stuff like that, please don't forget to look at your screen every once in a while just to make sure that you are getting those chests. Those are not things that you want to miss out on. Now let's go back to camp. So as I said before, in the bottom right hand corner, you have the camera. It'll take you to the top view so that you can see your entire camp and see what's going on. Alright, so now we just got to find some workers. This guy right here. Where are you headed off to? You gotta talk to I your workers you find any place to like raise loyalty, but that does cost energy. Let's go to workers. As you see, and I clicked the little foots and it said meet. You can talk to them. Once you talk to them, it raises their loyalty. That means they're less likely to run away. So do talk to your people, please. We're gonna run over to her. Nice. I just had an expansion that was complete. Uh, before I talk to you, I want to enter the pub. I just want to make sure. So these are the three workers that I could hire at the moment. As you can see, two are normal workers and one is a purple worker. So at the top, uh, you could see the 56 out of 74. You can just click on that. It says current contribution 56, max contribution 70. So I can hire this guy here. Nice. I don't usually hire anybody that's like these guys because look at their vitality, strength, and dexterity. It's like nothing. You could refresh. It does cost that, which I have actually a lot of, so I can, you know. There's a blue one. This is the difference. I got a lot of blue workers, actually. Or green, I guess? Green. I got a purple worker, though. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, and we got a new title, guys. Nice job. I'm going to take you up to the storage, which is this one here. We're going to open it. I don't have anything inside right now, but uh, what you could do is you could place your items that you want to save for later inside of this. 
All right, next is food storage, which is here. So as you can see, I can only have a total of 3,400 at the top left, and it's already taken up all that space, so I will upgrade it. Uh, let's get you to do it. And then we have the stables. I only have one animal in the stables right now, but I just upgraded it so I can have more. Stores up to six horses. Now we're talking. I can have my own like little army. Then we have the garden. As you can see, it's all complete. You could harvest them one by one with your finger like I just did, or you press the harvest button, which I did after. Now we could plant some stuff. Now, I just planted one, but you could also plant all button. Now, I don't have any more plants to plant. Uh, the way I've been getting my plants is that I would be running around in the, I believe, only the picking up plants. Uh, I would get seeds occasionally. That's that's the way I've been getting mine. All right, let's just jump out of here. And this is the rush board. So do boss rush missions here by using boss rush passes. Choose the difficulty that best fits your combat power. Now let's enter and I'll show you what I mean. I've only done the full missions for both of these two. Uh, so I can't click on any of the other ones yet. So you'll have to follow storyboard line if you want to attack any more bosses. Here it says I've conquered difficulty level 3 in the top right hand corner. And there's 41 difficulties. In this one it says that it will be my first attempt. So single pass exchange. Oh, I guess we're going to this one. Uh, it says that my... CP power level is 643 and suggested CP power level is 683. So if I attack this one, I better be really good at dodging, which I'm not. So let me just hold off on that for now. Here is the expedition gateway. This one you can raise up your difficulty level. I'm only good enough for the lowest difficulty level right now. Now you see these little hand things, it just means there's some stuff to pick up around the ground. Looks like there was only one. As you can see in the top corner here, it shows uh, Ancient Warrior's first chamber. You could, it, as soon as it gets to five people, then it'll drag you in. I actually don't want to do that right now, it'll take us a really long time. Uh, random lottery. Let me uh, take you to gathering now. So we could do world gathering, which you could do foraging, logging, or mining. These ones are long term. So as you can see, it's, this says two hours. This is two hours. This is two hours. When you get on the one you want, you can actually pick the stuff on the side to get specifics. Unlike when they just like around your camp, uh, they would actually just pick up some random ones. So I would usually look to see what I have least of, or see a building that I want to make, and uh, get the materials I needed from there, because it does take two hours to do. Now you can send more than one person, it's not going to change the amount of time, but it will change the amount of stuff that they collect. There we go. And we could also do upgrades. See, this one says 45, 45, 45, which uh, we have all of, so let's confirm. Let's get you to do that. And that one's being under construction. So if they have these little blue arrows, it means that you can upgrade them. wonder what it takes to upgrade this one. I need to bring a lot of things to level 4. Level 2 Academy. Let's start with this one, shall we? Holy. 135, 135, 135, 135. So as you can see, the purple one actually knocks down the time a little bit. 
Not much. Not much at all. There we go. I think the other guy was actually working on something else. So we looked at gathering. And then this is what the building button would be. You could also just go into here and upgrade them that way. Then you have your camp content. There we go. Camp content. Basically, if there's anything you weren't sure you have finished doing, then I would go here and collect what you needed to collect. These are my workers. They're all busy right now. Sometimes your workers get lazy, and I'm really glad this guy got lazy just so I could show you. Talking to you, big guy. Uh, you can encourage them. I lost them. Go to my top view. Where'd he go? Ah, right here. Discipline them. Give a gift. I don't have any gifts to give right now. Let's talk to him. I want to keep their loyalty up. I try not to discipline if I don't have to though. Sometimes they'll just walk around and they won't even be doing anything. Like, I asked you to build something. You should build it. But you're still awesome, so... Please do it without me having to tell you. All right, guys, that is it for part three of Black Desert Mobile. I can't wait to see you in a few days for part four. That's right, guys, there's so much information. I still, I think I'm about halfway through here. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get that notification at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on Mondays and Fridays. This is Twy in Game. Twy out.